Well, hello again, and welcome again to another episode of Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irvish, and you're listening to our show on Internet Radio. And we went through the complete uh, uh, Gospel of John uh, through all the notes of uh, Daniel Stanton. But now we have some uh, separate papers on subject matter out of the gospel. So uh, with that said, I'm just going to uh, start. And we're we're looking at uh, the rivers of living water. That's the title of this paper. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures had said, out of his heart shall flow living water. But this spake he of the spirit with which they had believed in were to receive, for the spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. What is it to be filled with the spirit? Now the Lord answers, it is to have rivers of living water from one soul. Uh, one, the, uni- uh, the university of uh, promises or promise, he that believes. So there's a condition here. This uh, experience is not for the spiritual uh, and aristocrat, but to him that believes. So it's not just a religious thing. Uh, This shall flow rivers. Uh, Not a brook or a stream, but a river. And it's all capitalized, but rivers and a plural, okay? Could it be said of you that these divine spirit begotten rivers of living water are flowing through you? These waters are flowing. They are flowing as the uh, natural result of a well of living water within us. The freedom, the freshness, and the spontaneousness of these flowing rivers from our heart is the result of the power of an ungrieved, unquenched spirit. John 3, 7, we have life in the beginnings, born again. In John 4, 14, we have life abundantly, a a well of water springing up. The secret of the... uh, perennial upspringing is in the word drinketh or drinks, literally taking a drink and keep on drinking uh, that man never thirst. Uh, John 15 abides in him fruit, more fruit, much fruit. Many of us are living in John 3. We have life but it is not strong, uh, vigor, virtual, vigorous life. We suffer from deficient uh, vertacity. The Lord wants us to be in the fourth of uh, John, enjoying life abundantly. Illustration. Uh, well, this was Hagar in uh, Genesis twenty-one fourteen. Abraham gave her a bottle of water and sent her away. As she wandered in the wilderness, verse 15, the water was uh, spent in the bottle. Abraham gave her a bottle. God gave her a well. 
In verse 19, God opened her eyes, and she saw the well of water. All we can give you is a bottle, temporary. God can give you of the well of the fullness of the Spirit. Are you a bottle Christian or a well Christian? It is a painful experience in wandering in the wilderness with an empty bottle and a dying child, spiritual death. This well is within each of us, giving, given by God and fed from the everlasting hill of God. My heart is indicating a good matter. This is springing up. It is flowing out. Oh, is it choking or clogged with the luggage of rubbish of life? Because of these things, the flow is checked, and we are reduced to our effectiveness in service and dependence upon a bottle. May our God today be a hammer of the word, break every bottle, and open our eyes to see the well. Let us now contrast the well of chapter 4 with the rivers of chapter 7. The well is the supply of all possible local needs, individual needs. The river would be for a surrounding needs. Well, the well springs up, the river flows out. The river of living water, bringing blessings, salvation, sanctification, and gladness. This comes through our consecrated service, and as we are filled with the Holy Spirit, John 3, the indwelling, John 4, the infilling, John 7, the overflowing. The end.